always wanted to do this. Oh. I do a lot of maths. <laughs> I study problem solving. I study the ins and outs of computers and how to you know, correctly build a program and games and websites and just a bunch of really, really cool stuff. I get to play with these little wires and plug them into things and then lights turn on, sounds come on and it's, it's all very exciting. Basically how the world works. I would say that I make very fancy, very tough jewellery for cows. We basically move water from point A to point B. I look at what doctors aren't able to do and what they should be able to do and I use whatever tools I can to try and fix those. Solving problems in a big group and that to me sounds like the, the coolest thing you can do. I chose to be an engineer because I've always loved fixing things, so growing up I was always the one in the house that was fixing the hose or fixing the tap when it broke, um, and also just fiddling with things in general and playing with Lego. Well for me probably Stephen Hawking, who obviously studied physics, um, but, but again it's still about solving problems and overcoming challenges. For me it was just a general kind of love for physics and maths. Passionate about mathematics, passionate about physics, and design as well, I think it gave me a way to be creative. I want to make healthcare more accessible for everyone. I think um, poverty is quite a big thing. As an engineer, that's something that I can change, and specifically as a civil engineer. It would be awesome if uh, kids across New Zealand are able to pursue whatever they want to do and aren't hindered by their situations that they're possibly born into. I suppose alleviating poverty around the world goes a long way to solving many other issues. Working in sort of water infrastructure and environmental engineering, a field that directly impacts their access to, to clean, sanitised water, um, transportation of water to and from different locations, it's you know a, a critical piece of infrastructure that affects everybody in the world. I would say Strata Cafe. Either Munchy Mart or the new dumpling place, Gorilla Dumplings, it's really nice. Definitely pop up to Fort for a uh, dollar fifty pie. I quite like Relax Lounge, the one that's sort of opposite Albert Park. It's quite nice. Jewel of Bombay with their um, got like butter chicken sauce on chips. That's that's a pretty good one as well. <laughs>